Let's examine this question from 2010 Amy 2 Problem 5. Positive numbers x, y, and z satisfy x times y times z is 10 to the 81st power and log base 10 of x times log base 10 of y, z plus log base 10 of y times log base 10 of z is 468. And we wish to find square root of log base 10 of x squared plus log base 10 of y squared plus log base 10 of z squared. And to begin with, I see a lot of expressions with log base 10. We have log base 10 of x right here and right here. We have log base 10 of y right there, right there, and right there. We can break apart log base 10 of y z to log base 10 of y plus log base 10 of z. And I see another log base 10 of z is right over there. So one thing you may suggest is that we can make a substitution for simplification and clarity. We can make substitution log base 10 of x is equal to a, log base 10 of y is equal to b, and log base 10 of z is equal to c because we see a lot of these expressions and maybe making the substitution is going to help make things more clear. Anyway, what, what is this doing to us? Well, that's telling us x is equal to 10 to the a's power, y is equal to 10 to the b's power, and z is equal to 10 to the c power, just writing these in exponential form. So we know x times y times z, or 10 to the a times 10 to the b times 10 to the c is 10 to the 81, or 10 to the a plus b plus c power is 10 to the 81st power. That's already telling us that a plus b plus c is equal to 81. This thing seems more simplified than x times y times z being 10 to the 81st power. Anyway, let's continue on. How about the second constraint? We have log base 10 of x, which is a, times log base 10 of y, z. And we know log base 10 of y, z is log base 10 of y plus log base 10 of z, which is equal to b plus c, plus log base 10 of y times log base 10 of z, which is b, c. And we know this is a, b plus a, c plus b, c, being equal to 468. So we, we know these two things. We know a plus b plus c is 81, and we know a, b plus a, c plus b, c is 468. And we wish to find, we wish to find the square root, we wish to find square root of log base 10 of x, or a squared, plus b squared plus c squared. So, really, we only have to find a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Once we find this, we can simply take the square root of the numerical value and we should be done. So we have these three things to work with. We have this thing, we have this thing, and using these two things, we have to get this value of a squared plus b squared plus c squared. So how can we? You may say we can square a plus b plus c to get an expression very similar to a squared plus b squared plus c squared, and you would be right because a plus b plus c squared is equal to, so just in case you cannot do this right away, let me write it down like this. We know we can multiply a and a to get a squared. We can multiply b and b to get b squared. We can multiply c and c to get c squared, but we can get other terms. We can multiply a to things other than a to get plus a b and plus a c. And we can multiply b to things other than b to get b a and b c, just multiplying it like this, to get b a or a b and b c. And we can multiply c to things other than c to get c a and c b. So we can also get c a, so c a and c b. And we see 2 a b, 2 a c, and 2 b c. So we have, we have a plus b plus c squared being equal to so we know a plus b plus c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus we have 2 of a, b, 2 of a, c, and 2 of b, c just by looking at this expression. So we, we know, we already know the value of a plus b plus c. This thing is 81. We want to find a squared plus b squared plus c squared. And we already know a, b plus a, c plus b, c, that's 468. So we can simply solve this equation for a squared plus b squared plus c squared, and we should be done. So let's do so. 
So we know a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Let me just write it like this. a d1 squared is equal to the expression we want to find plus 2 times 468. So a squared plus b squared plus c squared is 81 squared minus 2 times 468, which is equal to 16, 65, 61, I believe, minus 936. And this thing is equal to 5, 6, 2, 5, 56, 25. So we have to find the square root of 56, 25, because a squared plus b squared plus c squared is 56, 25. And this thing is simply 75. If you're wondering how I got this so quickly, you may, you may know this tactic of squaring a number ending with 5. For example, when you're squaring 85 squared, you, uh, you add 1 to the 10th digit, so you want to add 1 to this to get 9. You multiply these two together to get 72, and you end with 5 squared or 25. So 85 squared is 72, 25. And 65 squared is going to be 6 plus 1 is 7. Multiply these two to get 42 and end with 25. So in my case, I saw 25 and I realized 56 was eight, 7 times 8. So that allowed me to quickly deduce that square root of 56, 25 is 75. So the answer to this, to this question is 75. And since, since it's Amy question, we want to write it as 075.